So let's talk about iPhone gaming and how you can reduce heat when playing games. So there are a few things you can do. Well, essentially, the more battery is required for gaming, the more or bigger heat is going to just get out of that device. So I would recommend you to try to lower down the screen brightness if you can to see if that makes any difference. You can also just enable the low power mode so it just limits some things in the background but we also want to make sure that the low power mode doesn't impact our gaming performance right so just want to be you just want to be careful with that but you just feel free to experiment with the low power mode as well also if you don't want the heat to go up i wouldn't recommend you to keep your phone on a charger while playing games naturally charging in and of itself can raise the temperature especially wireless charging even though it's probably harder to play games on a wireless charger but still even if you're using just the cable i would just you know charge the phone properly and then play the games if you have problem with overheating because it probably can affect that as well if you can you can also move over to a cooler environment it's definitely going to help out with your phone if it's in like a cooler room temperature so that's something to pay attention to as well if you have a very thick case uh, you on your phone then try to remove it as a better circulation of air might be caused by the removal of the case at least for the period of gaming so you can always just try that out to see if it makes any difference there are also some things like you can um, just limit some interactions in the background right like you can turn on the airplane mode or close all of the apps in the background to disconnect from wi-fi but if your game requires it then you'll probably need that but the point is that you want to just limit every single other thing that your phone is doing except for the game itself uh, one thing which a lot of people do is that they turn on the gaming focus mode, which also tries to limit some other unnecessary things in the background so it can focus more on the game itself. So if you want to, I would recommend you to try out the gaming focus as well to see if that makes any difference. But that's it from me. Let me know below in the comments if this video has helped you out. Subscribe for more tutorials like this in the future and I'll see you in the next video.